Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review. I just got done seeing John Wick Chapter 4. And boy, oh boy, this movie, <laughs> this movie was epic. Oh my god, this movie, I don't want to use the word masterpiece, but in terms of action and filmmaking, like, this was pretty much a masterpiece. Like, two hours and 45 minutes, you know, it's the fourth entry in an action franchise, which, you know, is a series of movies that just gets bigger and bigger each installment. Um... And it's like, man, this this series of movies is like a blessing. You know what I mean? Um, it kind of came out of nowhere. You know, in 2014, we got the first movie. And Keanu Reeves, obviously, you know, he doesn't age, you know. Um, <laughs> that guy is like, you know, he's like Tom Cruise. He's just always at the top of his game in terms of action, in terms of, you know, stunts and fighting and, you know, gunplay, everything. Um this this is a this this movie here is is wild to me because like I said fourth movie in a series where each movie you know like the first movie is pretty much a very grounded movie you know it did some world build it it, it had some you know world building elements in it. it's like oh if this becomes a series it could definitely expand on this or this or this and each movie does that each movie gets bigger in terms of action in terms of the the world the story building um, the characters you know. And this is no exception. You know, the last movies were, like, around two hours each, I think. And this one went up to two hours, 45 minutes. And I remember hearing, like, why does a John Wick movie need to be almost three hours? And, man, I'm here to tell you, this movie did not really have any fat on it. Like, seriously. Like, I think every scene had a purpose. You know, it definitely did not feel like three hours. I'll tell you that right now. Um, man, this movie... This really is one of the best action movies ever made. Like, it really is. Um, me, personally, with the first three movies, I really loved all of them. But to me, they're all, like, interchangeable. Like, I don't I don't really know how I'd rank them. I'd probably say I like the first one the best just because it's more of a grounded thing and it's the original. You know, I kind of prefer that stuff. Um, whereas two and three are just kind of equal to me. Um, but honestly... Like, I know I just saw this, but this might be the best movie in the series. Like, objectively speaking, because they really, like, ramped it up with the filmmaking. Like, the cinematography, the... Like, everything. Like, the, the script. Like, it was, it was more epic, you know. Especially the ending of the movie, which obviously I won't talk about. But once you see it, you'll know what I mean. Like, it's like, man, they really took this to another level. Um... It, it very much reminded me of like an old western, um, the ending of the movie, which you'll you'll see when you you know when you see the movie you'll know what I mean, um, and I'm a fan of that obviously you know. So, man, this movie was incredible. Like there are action set pieces in this that go on for such long takes, forever, and it's like you don't get bored. You know, there's I want to say there's three really big action set pieces in this. And they're all top-notch. Like, they're all, like, S-tier action. Um, some of the reviews I saw were pointing out, oh, there's one action set piece in particular that's, like, incredible, and it's, like, one of the best things ever. And I literally couldn't tell which one it was when I watched the movie. I was like, are they talking about this scene or this scene? Or I have a feeling it's the third one. Now that I've seen the movie, I feel like it's probably the third action set piece. And you'll know it when you see it. Um, <laughs> but the first one especially, I was like, are they talking about this part? Because, man, this this is really good. Um, man, of course, you got, you know, Donnie Yen is in this one. And he's incredible, his character. Um, I love what they did with him. Um, you got uh, uh, Bill Skarsgård, who's essentially the main villain in this. And, man, the first scene he is in, you're like, I want this guy to die. Because... Man, this guy is despicable. You'll see what I mean when you see the first scene he's in. Um, and, man, this... Again, you know, you got returning people in here. You got, uh, you know, Ian McShane. You got Lawrence Fishburne. Um, unfortunately, who passed away recently, Lance Reddick. You know, rest in peace. Um, as Sharon, uh, the, the uh, concierge. You know, he was great. Everybody was, you know, great as usual. Obviously, nobody misses a beat. Obviously, Keanu Reeves is John Wick. You know, he pretty much... <laughs> His character is not meant to be, like, this multi-layered... <laughs> like, he literally has, like, one-liners. You know, yeah. Like, you know. He has uh, very few lines in the movie, which is funny, because it's a three-hour movie, and he's the title character. Um, it's all action, man. It's all... I want to say, legitimately... 
I don't know, I might be exaggerating. I feel like this movie is 80% action. Like, literally. Like, I'm pretty sure that might be correct. Even though it is three hours, and you're probably wondering, like, what? I really do think this movie is, like, 80% action. I don't know, that might be pushing. Maybe it's, like, 70% action. But it's it's up there. Um, Chad Stileski, who directed this and the other movies, amazing job. Like I said, just gets better and better each movie. Um, man, like I said, this is a franchise. There's no bad entry you know, they plan on making another one. Um, it's called uh, Ballerina, I think. It's going to be with Ana de Armas playing the uh, ballerina character from the third movie. Um, so it's going to be kind of a spin off, I guess. Um, which, you know, Keanu is actually going to be in that one, too, which is cool. Um, so I can't wait to see that. I don't know when that's coming out. Uh, maybe next year, I guess. I don't know. And I think they're supposed to be doing like a show based on the Continental Hotel um, or something like that. I don't know. But, again, this is such a cool, you know, franchise, like I said. It sort of came out of nowhere and just became its own thing. Um, so, this movie, man, I think I'm going to give this one a 10, to be honest. Like, I really do think... Like, there were moments in the movie where I was like, all right, I don't know if it's worthy of Masterpiece, because some people were calling it, like, Masterpiece. And and by the end of it, I'm like, you know what? Man, this, this maybe is a Masterpiece. You know, I, I'd have to watch it again. But honestly, in terms of the technicality and the filmmaking and everything, man, this is a 10. Like, it just is. Um, I, I really wanted to, like, clap my hands at the end of the movie. But, you know, it's kind of weird to clap your hands at the end of a movie when no one else is doing it. <laughs> and plus, the people that made the movie aren't actually there to see you clap for them. So it's kind of weird. Um, but, man, this movie definitely, I hope it got a standing ovation at its premiere. You know what I mean? Like, it really deserves it. Um so yeah, uh, as far as, you know, like I said, a ranking of the movies, this is probably, like objectively, I think this is the best one. So like this one at number one, the original at number two, and then chapter two, chapter three, they're kind of interchangeable for me, so I don't know yet. Um, I'll put a ranking on my letterbox account if you want to go check that out later. Um, so yeah, um, I'll do a spoiler section at the end, you know, because there's definitely something I want to talk about. Um, but other than that, go see this movie. Like, seriously, even if you're not, like, a John Wick fan, per se, like, you watch the movies and you weren't, you're like, okay, they're okay. I'm pretty sure this one will blow your socks off, believe me. Um, so definitely go see this movie, and, man, I hope everyone goes see this movie, because it's a blessing to get stuff like this, you know what I mean? Um, so I think that's about it for the non-spoiler stuff. I don't think I really missed anything. Um, yeah, just just go see it, so... Um, anyways, uh, leave the video if you haven't seen the movie because this is a very spoiler-sensitive section because there's something in particular that's like, you definitely don't want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> so leave the video, go watch the movie, come back later. Um, so here we go, spoilers. So the movie actually, I couldn't believe it. You know, I had a, I had a feeling, you know, it, it might happen uh, because I read about, you know, the ballerina movie. It's supposed to take place between chapters three and four. I'm like, oh, so what's that supposed to mean? You know, and plus, not to mention, obviously, we say Keanu doesn't age, but it's like, how long can he do this? How bigger can the movies get? And especially that last action set piece, I'm like, how can they top this? There's no way if they made a chapter five, they could top this. So I was going into this movie thinking, you know, they could possibly kill him off. And it actually happened. Um, I can't believe it, you know. So... I'm assuming the ballerina, like I said, is the ballerina movie is taking place between the, the last movie and this one, and then the Continental Show, I guess, will take place some sometime in the past. I don't really know um, if if Keanu's going to be in that too. I'm not sure, um, but it's crazy they actually did this. You know, um, it reminds me of uh, oh, I don't want to say it. Maybe you guys haven't seen it, but they killed off a certain character in a movie, a title character in a movie. Uh, was it last year or the year before? Oh, it was the year before, I think. Um, I, I don't want to say it, just in case you guys haven't seen it. But uh, it, it reminded me of that. You know, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, man, I can't believe it. And I'm glad, you know, because this movie, you know, obviously as the movies grow, you kind of stray away from the original intent of the first movie where it's like, okay, he lost his wife. The dog was killed, obviously. You know, everybody talks about the puppy getting killed. But really, it's all about his wife. And I'm glad when he did, you know, die, his last word was Helen. You know, he, he, he had that vision of her, you know, the the flashback of him kissing her, you know, um, and he was buried next to her. So I like that they tied it back into that because, again, you're, you're, the movies were straying away from that big time, obviously, as they dealt more with the, the high table and all that shit, you know. Um, which, by the way, I really thought... 
by this movie, they would reveal, like, the, what was it, like, 12 members of the high table? <laughs> I really thought, genuinely, like, maybe even in, if they made a chapter 5, like, okay, now he's going to face the actual members of the high table. You know what I mean? But they, we never actually see them. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll show them in a later thing. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it was crazy. And, I'm you know, Donnie Yen being the one to kill him off, I think, was appropriate. His character, you know. So, it made sense. And I love, again, it was very much like an old, like, spaghetti western movie, kind of. Um, with, like, the Sergio Leone-esque, you know, cinematography and the uh, Ennio Morricone kind of soundtrack, you know. Um, it, it was a great way for the character to go out, I think, you know. Um, so, again, I, I honestly... I, I almost cried, you know, um, at the end when Winston said, farewell, my son, you know, uh, oh man, that was, that was very, you know, touching. Um, and this, I think this was a great way to wrap up John Wick's story. So he finally was free, but at the same time he was, you know, the life doesn't, es you know, this life, what they're trying to illustrate never leaves you. So he was free in a sense, but he was also free from everything. Like he got to be with his wife essentially, you know. Because watching the first movie, you, you you know, like, at some point he's going to have to die. That way he's with his wife again. Because that's just how it has to be. That's the way it makes sense for it to make a full, complete, you know, arc. Um, so I'm glad they, you know, they did it. Um, so, yeah, it was emotional at the end. And then, it, you know, it's kind of eerie to me that, you know, they killed off Sharon, you know, Lance Reddick, and, you know, obviously the actor just passed away recently, so it's kind of eerie that that actually, you know, it, you know, that happens so close to each other, you know, it's weird. Um, that was sad, too, obviously, you know, I love that character, and again, it makes you hate Bill Skarsgård, man, you know, <laughs> so, um, again, like I said, I, I, I love this movie, like, it was really good. It's not one I'd watch, like, on repeat, you know, because it's obviously a very long movie with a lot going on, um, but I can't wait to own it, you know, and check it out again, um, I watched the first three movies again right before I saw this one, you know, in preparation, and like I said, this is a great series, it really is, um, I didn't mention earlier too in the review, there's a new character, his name's like Mr. Nobody or whatever with the dog, he was cool, you know, um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, spoiler section. I really just needed to talk about you know the two big two big deaths in this one. Um, again, rest in peace, Lance Reddick. It's really sad. You know, the guy if he's only sixty years old, died of natural causes. I wouldn't have thought he was sixty years old. By the way, he looked younger to me. Um, and how did he die? I don't know. It's just weird to me. Natural causes um, at that age. So I don't know. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching this. That's been it. That's been John Wick Chapter Four. Um, let me know what you thought of the film in the comments. How do you rank all four movies? Um, and, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye.